This tutorial covers how to use the widgets for the Ultimate Product Catalog plugin. The plugin offers three widgets. One displays an admin entered list of products based on product IDs. One displays a number of random products from a catalog. And the last one displays the most recent products created with the plugin. To use any of the widgets, start by heading to the widgets area on the appearance menu. You can either drag and drop the selected widget into the theme area where you want it, or you can click on the selected widget and select the area where you want it from a list of available areas. After placing, you can drag and drop to rearrange the ordering. If there are no areas available or widgets isn't available in the appearance menu, then your theme isn't configured to work with widgets. Starting with the product list widget, let's place it on our theme's footer. After dragging it over, you can see that there are two parameters required. The first is a comma-separated list of product IDs that you'd like to display. The second is the URL of your catalog. To find a product's ID, head over to the plugin menu, select the Products tab, and then click on a product. You can see the ID of the product near the top of the page, added towards the end of the title. We'll take the ID of our first three products and put those into the first text area. Then we'll put the catalog URL into the second box. Now when we reload the page on our site, you can see the products displayed in the footer. Instead of having the same products on every page, maybe we'd prefer to have a random set of products appear with each page load. In that case, we'll replace the product list widget with the random products widget. For this one, we're going to get the ID of the catalog that we want to display products from off of the Catalogs tab, and then enter it in the first box. We still want three products to display, so we'll put that into the Product Count box, and then add in the URL again. Now, when we reload the page, there is a new set of random products being displayed. Finally, if we want visitors to be up to date on the latest products that we add, we can replace our random products widget with the recent products one. This is the easiest one of all to use. We just put in a product count, let's go with three again, and then add in the catalog URL. Now, on reloading the page, the three most recent products added to the plugin are displayed in the footer. Check out the plugin page on our website for additional information or subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with future tutorial videos for this and other plugins.